Hi friends, welcome to this class. And in this class, we are going to study the chemical properties of quinoline. That is how they are going to react. So I have written both electrophilic substitution reaction as well as nucleophilic substitution reaction. Why they undergo electrophilic substitution reaction? The simple answer is it is rich in by electron load. There is more electron density, so the electrophiles which are electron deficient are going to react with it. And we know they only undergo substitution reaction, they cannot undergo addition reaction because if they undergo addition reaction, they are going to lose their aromaticity. So they undergo substitution reaction. These things we have studied throughout our series of this video. So please don't miss the series. You go to my playlist, there you, there you will find heterocyclic compounds, there I have arranged them in a serial order, so you can watch without leaving single video. So, this class is on chemical properties. See here, electrophilic substitution reaction. This is our phenolene and the numbering. I have told you in my second video, one should be going to heteroatom followed by 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8 in anti-clockwise direction. In anti-clockwise direction, we number it. This is the numbering and this is quinoline. See, when we do bromination, the bromine attacks to 5th position or at 8th position. So, this is 5 bromoquinoline and 8 bromoquinoline. If we do nitration, this is called nitrating mixture. 1% that is 1% of HNO3 we use and 3 1 is to 3 ratio we use HNO3 and H2SO4 there we get NO, NO2 uh, since it acts as electrophile it attacks at 5 and 8 5 nitro quinoline and 8 nitro quinoline see here it is nitration and here it is sulfonation at 585 Kelvin the sulfonic acid group attacks here at 5th or at 8th position. So, quinoline 5 sulfonic acid or quinoline 8 sulfonic acid. And here are nucleophilic substitution reaction. Nucleophilic also attack because nitrogen is sp2 hybridized and this nitrogen is more electronic too. So, it pulls the electron density towards itself because of which the carbon which are near to it experience uh, little positive charge. So they become electron deficient. So these nucleophiles like NH2 minus or C4H9 minus will attack this cation, carbocation that is this carbon which are electron deficient. So these are undergoing nucleophilic substitution reaction also. This is 1, 2, 2 amino quinoline and this is 1, 2, 2 N butyl quinoline. These are the two products. And for our discussion, we shall discuss why electrophile attack to only at 5th position or 8th position. And we shall see some more reactions like oxidation, reduction. Let us see. See here, this is phenolene. You know, benzene ring and pyridine ring forms phenolene. When it undergo oxidation, oxidation agent will be KMnO4. When it undergoes oxidation, it forms the compound like this. See, the pyridine ring remains as it is. The pyridine ring remains as it is, and this benzene ring oxidizes to COOH2 like this. It undergoes oxidation. If we heat it again, what happens is this COOH group moves as carbon dioxide. So what we get is the pyridine ring remains as it is without disturbing and this becomes plus CO2 hydrogen will remain attached to that and that COH group convert to carbon dioxide and the reduction let us see reduction how reduction takes place see this is our phenolene and reduction let me do its reduction so what happens is I should use reducing it the one which under oxidation, making other reduce that is reducing it. Let us use three reducing it. The first one will be SN comma HCl or Fe or otherwise nickel H2. When we heat, 
it is a mild reducing agent SL comma HCL. Let me not use this. Only I am going to use SL comma HCL. Since it is this weak reducing agent, so what I get is here is benzene free that it is. See, initially I had let me write like this double bond, double bond, double bond. Two bonds were there, two double bonds, five bonds. But now I have left with like this. So totally it is going to give four hydrogens. One hydrogen will attack here, other hydrogen here, other hydrogen here, and other hydrogen here. So the five bonds are going to be eliminated. So what it is? Four. That is tetra hydrophilurene. Or I, I can say one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four tetra hydrophilurene. When we use SN comma HCl as a reducing agent. If I use H2 comma PT, hydrogen in presence of titanium, when I heat this compound, we know that this mixture is a strong reducing agent, whereas that one is mild or weak reducing agent. So, what we get is we get this compound. This we get octa hydrovinorine because 8 hydrogen not 8 it should be deca see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 hydrogens will add by eliminating all that 5 bonds so it is deca hydrovinorine if i use it is also a mild reducing agent like lithium aluminium hydride this is called lithium aluminium hydride, L I E L H4. The beauty of this is they use H minus ion, hydride ion. And we know that addition of this hydrogen is nothing but reduction. So, and it is a mild reducing agent. So, what we get is there we eliminated two double bonds. Here we eliminated all the five double bonds. But here we are going to eliminate only one double bond. These three double bonds remain as it is. And this pyridine ring, initially we had structure like this, but now because of this double bond is eliminated and two hydrogens are added. So it is going to give two hydride ion, two H minus ion, two hydride, H minus means hydride ion. This is about the lithium aluminium hydride and that is SN comma HCl and strong reducing agent H2 comma PT. These are the few reactions of and also we shall discuss the mechanism why electrophile attack to only at the 5 and 8th position. To answer it, let us discuss its mechanism and then we shall stop this video in next class. We shall prepare how we will prepare this phenolin in our classroom or in our laboratory. Since laboratory is not available, so only we will discuss how to prepare in classroom. So let us discuss now. This is my quinolin and here I have electrophile E plus like this. If it attacks to fifth position, what happens? See, electrophile is electron deficient and this quinolin is electron rich and it is going to attack this fifth position. I hope it is visible. Isn't it? Then let me take few words of this and write the reaction. So, what happens is, see, this is my benzene ring because electrophile has attacked here double bond was like this this is pyridine ring sorry double bond, single bond, double bond and this is pyridine ring and electrophile should attack at fifth position so this electron density moves here it becomes delta negative and delta positive the electrophile gets that negative charge and becomes neutral but here it gets positive charge so before it was neutral and it has got positive charge now the whole compound has got positive charge that is conservation of charge so charge is balanced here so the next canonical structure will be like this this is going to shift here then this is going to shift then like that these are going to shift so there will be number of canonical structures that we can write because throughout the video we have discussed the same the resonating structures we have discussed and also we have discussed electrophilic substitution reaction so I, I you don't want me to explain again and again so this what we get and this is the one of the intermediate one of the canonical structure in those series then what happens is 
this halogen is going to removed as proton and this bond is going to shifted here. So it again becomes neutral and my final product what we get is this one. See, double bond here, double bond, double bond. Instead of hydrogen, now we got electrophile. It replaced hydrogen. So it is electrophilic substitution reaction. So this is our compound. Like this, it attacks at fifth as well as eighth. If you write the canonical structure, you will understand because there the nitrogen will not get any positive charge. So this at fifth and eighth position, it will be stable compared to any other position. Similarly, for nucleophile, if those are going to attack here, second position, because if they attack at second position, nitrogen is going to get a negative charge. We know that nitrogen is electronegative and it, can, it has capacity to hold that negative charge. Other than, but it can't hold positive charge. That is the uh, about electronegativity and, and this mechanism. In next class, we shall discuss about how to synthesis it in our classroom itself. So, till then, take care and have a good day. Thank you. Bye.